to? Red, orange, yellow. Have I got the yellow dish for you. It's a pineapple plank with tilapia. You're gonna like it. Gotta love a tropical fruit in the winter, don't you? It really brightens up any day. The first thing you need to do is cut up a pineapple. You need eight slices of pineapple to make your little planks. So just cut off the bottom of the pineapple and then twist off the top. You see that when you just twist it, it'll come right out. Ta-da! What do you think about that? and then cut down along the pineapple to remove the skin. And you just wanna go as deep as you need to to remove the brown eyes without getting rid of too much of the edible flesh. I err on the side of leaving some of the eyes and then just go back in and remove them afterwards. That way I don't waste anything. And you can take these peelings and put them in some water and let them sit overnight in the refrigerator and then drink it. It's a delicious beverage. Cut eight quarter inch thick slices. Arrange your pineapple planks just slightly overlapping. That's gonna be the base for your fish. Create a nice little bed for your tilapia fillets to recline on and then place one fillet on top of each pineapple bed. Kind of unusual, but it's sort of like cooking your fish on top of your salsa. Kind of makes sense. You eat fish with salsa all the time, right? Wash your hands off. Season the fish with salt. Oh yeah, I don't even think it needs any pepper because you're gonna put jalapeno in the dressing, so you probably don't need it. Then just take this, put it into the broiler until the fish is cooked through. That'll take about five to seven minutes. While your fish is cooking, there's a couple more things to do. Very, very simple. Cook some couscous. I have a cup of water in here, it's boiling. And to that, just add one cup of couscous. We love couscous here because it's basically instant. It takes five minutes. Just make sure it's completely covered with the water. Cover it up, turn the heat off, done. Just let this sit for five minutes. While you're doing that, you can make a salad dressing. It's a lime vinaigrette. The first thing that you wanna do is zest your lime because the lime zest is gonna go into the couscous. So zest that. Cut the lime in half, juice your lime. Use the lime juice to make your dressing slash sauce for your fish slash pineapple. <laughs> everything has a slash today, it's slash everything. Okay, one tablespoon of a neutral oil like a safflower oil or a vegetable oil. One teaspoon of agave. This is to offset the tanginess of the lime. You don't have to use agave if you don't have it. Don't go out and buy it just for this, but if you have it at home, use it. Otherwise, use honey or a little bit of sugar. That's fine. Then slice one whole jalapeno. Mine's kind of big, but I don't mind because I like spice. I can smell that this one's going to be really spicy. If you're prone to sensitivity to spice, I suggest removing the seeds. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're done. Stir it together. That's your sauce. This has not taken very long at all, has it? Set that aside. The lime zest is gonna go into my couscous now that it's had a chance to sit for five minutes. I'm gonna say this takes a total of 15 minutes start to finish. Talk about dinner one, two, three. My goodness. These guys are ready. It is, it smells really good. The pineapple just cooks a little bit. It gets a little bit of caramelization on the fish and the pineapple. Fantastic. How beautiful is that? I think. We should serve some, what about you? First I'll put my fish down on my plate. Do you love the way they just lift up like one big plank? That's why we call them planks. It's a really nice base. Give yourself a little bit of fluffy couscous. Spoon some on. It's kind of all in a palette too, right? Everything's a little bit golden. That's because today's color is yellow. Spoon some of your sauce slash dressing over the top and you have a bright and flavorful dinner. And I think you're really gonna love it and you're gonna feel really colorful. <laughs> Enjoy.